Hey, did I tell you our biggest fan reached out last week? Who? They're right here. Hey guys, welcome to Gear Tasting. Today we are going to do a more gear focused episode on gear tasting rather than the question focused episode that we did last week. So we don't have any questions prepared today, but we do have quite a few things to talk about. So first off, drinking ground support blend from our friends in New York today. Again, the ground support blend and uh, drinking it in a pound tag gear tasting coffee mug. So to start, I wanted to just briefly talk about something that Rob and I were just kind of talking about the other day and we mentioned uh, going to the range and shooting and things like that, and um, I guess I never really told him, but I keep a I keep an ammo can in my truck all the time. It's locked up in my box in the back, of course. Um, but what I keep in here is everything I need to shoot with. So I have a local range that I go to, and this stays with me all the time, and I replenish it with nine millimeter so that I always have what I need to go to the range and shoot, just on kind of on a whim or whenever I decide to. So. Um, this just has basically so some just ear pro i've got uh i keep my glock 19 in here in the incog holster uh, just so i have that with me uh, when i go to the range i've also got a, a raven concealment uh, holster adapter too so i like to you know kind of mix it up with different holsters when i shoot um, i've got a couple of Magazines that I have for the Glock 19. I usually have two mags with me at least um, And then I usually have Ziploc bags full of ammo too, and this is all the stuff that I kind of cycle in and out of through my my carry gun um, So it becomes kind of my range ammo uh, Once it's been carried for a while and there's really no rhyme or reason to when I do that cycle change It's just kind of if I notice the ammo is just getting dirty and has been in there a long time without being fired, I will cycle it out. And there's no rule of thumb that I really know about or tend to kind of follow for that process, but um, that's usually what I have. And I always have some, some dummy rounds in there to practice malfunction drills and things like that when I'm at the range, um, as well as some empty casings to do a kind of a balance drill on the end of the gun. If you've ever seen that, you can put a, um, a spent cartridge on the end of your gun for kind of trying to balance that as you're shooting. Um, and then I have a staple gun in there as well. Um, I actually need to throw some binder clips in here. I don't have those in. Um, just some field notes to kind of log my shooting stuff as I'm doing it. Uh, I've got that deck of cards that I think I've gone over on gear tasting before is the you know, Tricon from uh, Jeff Gonzalez from Trident Concepts put this deck of cards together. It's a uh, shooting deck with different drills on it. So you can kind of do a deck of cards type of drill where you just draw a card and shoot the drill. So that's what I keep in there. And then the rest that of the stuff that's in the ammo box is literally just ammo. So just keep my nine millimeter in there. And um, that's what I have when I, when I go shoot at the range. Um, it's just a quick way for me to always have stuff ready to go uh, so I can practice when I want to. So. Next off, I want to talk about uh, a product that kind of goes along with that. That's kind of what started me thinking about grabbing that stuff to show on gear tasting. Um, I got this company called Manus X reached out to us about their firearms training system, asked if we wanted to take a look at it. I said, absolutely, I'd love to check it out. So what intrigued me about it is it's a sensor system that fits on the rail of a, a firearm and it gives you kind of intelligent feedback through an app to diagnose what you're doing wrong during shooting. So if you're pulling, if you're pushing, all those type of things, uh, it'll actually tell you. If you've ever seen that pie chart that kind of shows, well, if your rounds are going here or here, you're doing one thing or the other. So that's kind of what it's doing in principle. Um, from what I can gather, I haven't actually used it yet. It just came in yesterday, so I'm looking forward to getting some time with it. Uh, but I did want to show you this thing uh, as well. So it comes in a little Pelican case. And oh, drop the cord. So there's a cable to charge it. And then this little device right here just fits on the rail system. Oh, 
I'm not sure if you need to completely take this screw out or not. I would imagine you probably do now that I'm looking at the design. So that is now mounted at the bottom of the, the Glock 19. And again, it gives you that intelligent feedback. It stores the, uh, the information in an app. Um, I do have the spec sheet that I kind of pulled out of the box earlier that I was looking through, just to kind of give you an idea of what, you know, what they advocate it being good for. So uh, it was designed for live fire uses, usage. Um, it is effective in dry fire practice as well, which is one of the big things that I like. The, so I could have it on there at the range when I'm actually shooting live rounds, but you know, for the most part, dry fire practice is what I like to do a lot of too, so it's great for that in principle too. Um, you should expect the dry fire component will see rapid improvements through regular updates. Um, dry fire. The Manus X sensor continually collects and transmits movement data. The crucial part of the algorithm design is shot detection. So live fire shot detection is easier than dry fire shot detection for obvious reasons. Additionally, it's crucial to, crucial to try to eliminate false positives that could arise from jostling, racking, or other movements that could mimic a dry fire hammer striker hit. For, fortunately, we have some significantly geeking engineers designing complex algorithms to give accurate results. So there you go. So I'm actually really, like I said, looking forward to this. The, uh, I was going to see if they had any kind of other explanation. Yeah, there's, there's the elevator pitch. Uh, Manus X is a revolutionary training system that helps improve your shooting precision while attached to a handgun. Manus X analyzes your shooting mechanics, diagnoses issues, and coaches you on how to improve. So um, it shows a little picture of the app on the back here that you can download. So, and it does say that they've got an app for go the Google Store or Google Play, uh, also the App Store, and then it uses Bluetooth, so designed and assembled in the U.S. So there you go. That's the Manus X firing system. I will definitely keep everyone posted on how that goes. The next item that I would like to show is to talk briefly about a new item I got in from a project I backed on Kickstarter. So I believe I've gone over the Rexford Knives rut before on ITS, and I typically am not a fan of products that look like they draw too much inspiration from, um, from other products, but there's just, it's, it's hard not to see that with this product. And even though I backed it on Kickstarter, I was very interested to see what they were going to do with it. Um, the Rexford Rudd is made by Rexford Knives, and it's made in the U.S. And I've used one of these for a long time. I really love the tool. Uh, I love the fact that it's got a bottle opener and screwdriver on it, even though I'm not such a huge fan sometimes of, you know, super crazy multi-tools that try to do way too many things. But I have really liked the features that the Rut has, and I love the fact that this is a a cheap, easy, expensive replacement to put in a new blade in this thing for opening boxes. And um, my whole reasoning behind this, and I think I've talked about this on gear tasting, is I don't use my, my daily carry knife for opening boxes and things like that. I use this for defensive stuff only, so the blade I know is always going to be sharp. I don't like to dull it by cutting cardboard and boxes and things like that or anything else that could come along. Like my buddy, a buddy that says, hey, do you have a knife I can borrow to cut this huge piece of rope? And I'd say, yeah, I've got a box cutter. So that's what I carry for this. And this, uh, so the titanium pocket tool was the, the thing that came out on Kickstarter. And I'll give them the interesting aspect of this, uh, truly. They've, they've built in some interesting features into this. One is a magnet inside of this so that it eliminates the rattle so there's a magnet in here, so the blade does not make a rattling sound when it's inside here. So, and another thing is they give you blade inserts that are dull. So this is a piece of aluminum that's been cut down into a blade shape, and it, and it will take a conventional blade, just to show you that here. So that's a conventional blade, but it's still, the magnet still works on these too, so it's going to prevent it from, from moving around. Um, but so their blade design is a dual sided blade. One is the actual box cutter side. And, you know, I've used this just a couple of times. I'd I literally got this in yesterday, too. So this is some really new stuff we just got in that I want to talk about today. But um, I did open a couple of boxes with this today already. Um, and it does work. When there's thick tape, though, it doesn't necessarily pierce through a thick tape like it would um, with an actual blade. 
um, like a box cutter blade. But so the flip side of this is actually a fork for camping. So you can flip that around, um, and now you supposedly have a, a fork to eat with. I don't. I can't say that I would necessarily rely on this as a, a tool to eat with, but I guess in a pinch in a backup situation, maybe you could um, probably just use my fingers at that point. But at any rate, that's what it's for. Um, it also came with a spare blade in black. So I don't really know. It looks like it is metal. <laughs> that's metal too. So it did come with a spare blade. Um, some of the features that it also has on it, and they call it a safe carry insert. That's what they call this. So I don't know that TSA would still allow something like this. Like when I travel with the rut, I take the blade out of it and just pick up a new one wherever I'm at. Um, so the other thing it's got is a universal wrench right there. It's got, it says that it's got 15 sizes in there and then they call that fork a camping fork and a package opener. Um, this is constructed out of titanium though, just like the, the rut. Um, the overall size is a little bit smaller um, than the rut. And I have noticed that before when I'm, I carry this sometimes in the change pocket of my jeans. Um, so I do notice that the size uh, can be a little restrictive sometimes when you're bending over and grabbing something. You can, that, that kind of digs into you there with the, the blade side. Um, and then the, this is a quarter inch hex driver and then there's also a flathead screwdriver in the end of this too. And then I think titanium logo is on one side. And again, the internal magnet. I think I've gone over all the features of this, but I did want to kind of highlight that and just talk about the difference between you know, the rut and this because they are so similar and you can, you can definitely see the inspiration in this design. I mean, I never had seen anything like the rut before when this came out, so um, I don't, and this is a fairly new project on Kickstarter, so this is from a company called Big Design. And I want to say that I just checked because they offered backers to you know the I, the chance to get a second one, and those were running like sixty nine ninety five or so. And um, the rut is made in America, and this is made in uh, overseas, in China. Um, but the I think I remember the rut running like one hundred and thirty five dollars, and you know this is sixty nine ninety five. So um, that's that. Big Idea Design is the to the company that produces the titanium pocket tool. All right, guys, one more thing I wanted to share with you is that tomorrow, June 10th, I got that date right that time, we are releasing some new trauma kit pouches in different colorways. So we have been asked for a long time to come out with some new colorways, and we finally got it done. We have Wolf Gray, Desert Digital, and Ranger Green in our Tall Boy and Fat Boy pouches that you know oh so well. So in the Tall Boy, Ranger Green, Desert Digital, and Wolf Gray. And this is officially sanctioned Wolf Gray too by none other than the Arteryx. So then Fat Boy, Wolf Gray, Desert Digital, and Ranger Green. So if you have or you're not familiar with our trauma kit line, these are our vacuum sealed trauma kits. This is the Fat Boy configuration. This is the Tall Boy configuration. Exact same components in the kits in both a basic and advanced kit, uh, but they're the same. They're just a different shape. So we did it that way so that um, if you're not familiar with these, these are kind of more the size of a double mag pouch, so like an M4 mag pouch. Um, that's why we kind of redid the vacuum seal and the components to do that. And then the Fat Boy kit is more of a wide format kit, um, also good for sticking in a cargo pocket. So, and then also our EDC kit um, recently got a revamp with a soft T-wide tourniquet in it that we flat folded that's um, a much better version, in my opinion, of what we had before. So that is now features a dedicated tourniquet and we wanted to enlarge our EDC uh, trauma kit or, or actually our slimline pouches to accommodate the new EDC kit. So now it fits in much better. So if you're familiar with our kits already, um, we now have uh, more room in the slimlines for the EDC kit and it, now it uh, comes in that configuration. So as you can see, the elastic is cut a little more generously now in uh, both Coyote and a black version. So we look to have more colors as well in these, hopefully in the future. But right now we've just got Coyote and black that we're launching. So again, new trauma kits coming out tomorrow, special sneak peek. You should check it out tomorrow. 
All right, guys, thanks for watching Gear Tasting. Remember, use the pound tag Gear Tasting on any of the social media networks to get your question answered on Gear Tasting. And as always, if you're liking what we're doing here at Gear Tasting, please consider joining as a crew leader to our membership. Uh, please consider supporting with that, and we will give you back something in return. Link is below in the description. Thanks again for watching.